Hello and welcome to Home Assistant Tips by Larry. Before we get started, we are going to assume you already have a working instance of Home Assistant and you already have ESP Home installed and working and you know how to flash a microcontroller with ESP Home. Today we are going to show you how to flash a Sunoff S31 smart power plug with energy monitoring. This is somewhat longer than our normal videos because there are more steps involved in doing this. But once you do this the first time, it becomes very easy. Here we see the Sunoff S31 smart plug. In order to use it in Home Assistant natively, we must first take it apart in order to flash it with ESP Home. Here, I am going to remove the end cap with a tool designed to pry plastic parts apart from each other. If you don't have one of these tools, you can use a straight edge screwdriver instead. We can now slide the plastic rails from the body of the plug so that we can get to the three screws hidden behind them. Here we can now see the three Phillips head screws we need to remove to take this plug apart. After removing the screws, we can now pull the plug from the body of the unit. Here we see a serial adapter that you will need to buy in order to flash the plug with ESP Home. Also, connected to it are clips that you will need to buy as well. These items and the wiring diagram for the connectors are in the video description. Here we can see a close-up of how I clip the wires to the plug's pads. And here is a USB switch that makes it easy to be able to flash the plug as you will need to hold the button down on the plug and then plug the USB cable into your computer. This makes it a lot easier but not totally necessary. Now I will plug the serial adapter into another of those switches that I just showed you which is connected to my computer. Now I have switched to my Home Assistant screen and I will click on the ESP Home button then the New Device button. Now we can see a window pop up asking for the name of the new device we want to create. Type in the name you want for this plug and hit the Next button. Before you hit the connect button, hold down the button on the plug and then turn on the switch on the USB cable. Continue holding the button on the plug down for around 5 seconds. Then release it. Now click on the connect button in Home Assistant. A screen will pop up and there should be an option to connect to CP2102 USB to UART bridge controller. Click on that and then click the connect button. Your home assistant will connect to the plug then install the firmware onto it. I have speeded up the video so you don't have to wait here. Once the firmware is installed you will see a screen complaining it can't find the device. Don't worry about this as the plug isn't powered up meaning it's not plugged into power so ignore this message and hit the close button.
Now remove all the clips from the plug so that we can reassemble the plug. In order to put the plug back together again, please note where the button is and in the body of the plug, look for the hole and align the parts as you see them here. Then slide the plug back into the body as shown. Now replace the three Phillips head screws. Now slide the plastic rails back onto the plug as shown. Now snap the cap back into place. Plug the device into a power plug so Home Assistant can access it. Now we are going to finish up the install of the device in Home Assistant and test the plug. Here we click on Notifications button in Home Assistant. Now we should see the plug we installed in Home Assistant, so just click on the Configure button and a box will pop up wanting to add it to Home Assistant. Just click the Submit button, then hit the Finish button. Now that the device is added, click on ESP Home, find your device in the list, and click on the Edit button. Next paste the ESP Home code that you will find in the video description and also on my Discord server as shown. Now click on the Save button in the upper right side of your screen and then click on the Install button. I have speeded up the compile and upload of the code so you don't have to wait with me. Now click on the Close button and exit out of the Edit screen. Now I am going to check to see if mine is working as it should. Here we can see the plug we just flashed, so I'm going to click on the relay button to see if it is working. And as you can see the red light on the plug just turned off, so it is working correctly. Now I am going to plug in a stand-up fan to see if the power readings are working as they should. Now when I click on the relay button you can see the fan turns on and the power readings will start to show up, proving the plug is working as it should. And when I turn the fan off, the readings for watts and amps drop back down to zero.
The code to get the sensors working in ESP Home will be linked in the video description. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel so we can continue to make these videos and as always if you have any questions please ask them in the comments section. See you next time.